By the end of this video, you're gonna be making better YouTube videos. In particular, in a vlog style format because that's just my favorite outlet. That is, if they're done correctly, because let's be honest, most vlogs on this platform are boring. And don't worry, I am definitely including my own vlogs in this. I've actually been doing the first tips since the start of the video, and that's camera angles. Now, don't go crazy with this. But do yourself and your viewers a favor and stop recording 15 minute long videos with a background like this that just doesn't change. Now whilst you're changing all your camera angles, that's a good chance to do tip two, which is to set up your locations. Right now, you've got a pretty good idea of where I am. So if I cut to different camera angles in this location, you're not gonna feel disorientated. But if the next time I remember to vlog is here, and I just start chatting away to the camera, that's not a very comfortable experience for your viewer. Setting up your location can literally be as simple as doing a nice big wide shot or showing the transit between point A and point B. Now let's talk about everyone's favorite, which is gear. Don't focus on your gear. Focus on what will allow you to tell your story. Now my entire YouTube setup consists of this DJI Osmo Pocket 3, a GoPro, and recently, this little guy, which is gonna get its own entire video. It might actually be the next video from this one. Could I film my vlogs on this thing? Absolutely. But would the slight bump in quality be worth the absolute pain that it would be trying to film a vlog with this? No. Use the best camera that doesn't get in the way of what you've got to say, particularly for vlogs. And that is from experience of using everything from GoPros to GH5s for vlogging. If you still have a burning desire to spend some money on gear, trust me, I get it, then spend it on audio. A lot of people say that video is 50% audio. I disagree because you could have the best looking video on the platform. But if your audio sounds like this, trust me, no one's gonna watch it. All the camera angles, gear and transitions in the world though still won't make your vlogs interesting. I need to remember in my own vlogs that every good story has three points, has a setup conflict resolution. And even your vlogs should follow this format. The vlog should always be moving somewhere. It should have a point. <laughs> Okay, we're getting into the meaty stuff now. The stuff that took me quite a while to realize because you have to remember that no one cares about your vlogs. And as brutal as that is, you have to be giving your viewers value. And that might be in the form of a vlog about making better vlogs or if you're doing a travel style video, giving them little nuggets of information about a location. You can't expect a new audience to just watch a video of you having a good time. They don't care unless you make them. And when you are giving you value, keep it short. That's tip seven or six, I can't remember. On the other hand, and to slightly contradict myself a little bit, don't cut your personality out of your videos. Chances are in the beginning, whatever you've got to say and as concisely as you can say it, someone's probably doing it better. If someone's going to subscribe to you, it's gonna be for your personality. So don't get caught up in trying to be perfect on camera or serious all the time. Let some of your personality shine through. If you wanna be a YouTuber, you need to watch YouTube. And if you see something you like, copy it because not only why copying it will you learn how to do it, but I guarantee you'll make it your own style. You need to be watching other creators. Watch what they do, how they keep you watching, and use it in your own videos. Don't go on TikTok, don't go on Instagram. You're not gonna learn anything there. You're gonna learn by watching other YouTubers. Just have fun and be creative. Vlogs are like the perfect outlet. Oh, that's quite cold actually. Oh, to, um, to just test ideas, the harsh reality of being a YouTuber in the beginning is it's a massive load of work for not much reward. So if you're having fun 
in the process, then who cares? Financial gain or fame cannot be motivators <laughs> to start a YouTube channel. Especially not a vlog. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. This is one of my favorite videos. Does it have a lot of views? Nope. Do I care? Definitely. I'll see ya. <laughs> I'll see you in my next video, which is the review of this thing. Bye-bye.